Hello, my name is uh, Tom Wellman. I'm from uh, Apex Orthopedic Rehabilitation in Providence, New Jersey. I'm a sports and orthopedic physical therapist. I'm just going to give you a little few tips today on how to use a lumbar roll. Uh, you'll hear about that in different cars and such. They, a lot of them are already made. Um, you can find it in certain, um, uh, certain chairs. They actually try to place a little lumbar roll in there. Um, I prefer using um, a roll like this. This is a McKenzie roll. Um, it's a standard size. Some people this will be too big for, but you can vary the size and you can also use just a simple towel or something to, uh, to you know, use this type of roll. But um, what does this do? Um, basically what we do in sitting, what tends to happen is we have a normal curve in the lower lumbar spine, this area right here, this little indent right here. When we sit, it tends to flatten and we, as we sit, we'll lose that natural, um, natural curve. And what I'll do is I'll tell my patients, uh, we're just trying to get this back to stack evenly. And when you're sitting down, most times, most people will kind of slump forward and you'll lose that natural curve. Also, when you lose that curve down here, you kind of lose the curve up there. So a lot of times I'll give my lumbar roll to some of my patients with neck problems and I'll say, let's place it up, let's get, a small, uh, let's get this roll in down here position right because it's going to get everything to stack better up there. So there's some of the things to consider here. Um, but a lot of times people don't use this roll correctly. So one of the ways I like to do, and one of the things I like to tell people about, because posture is such an important thing, is how to use this roll here. So we're going to open this up a little bit. You can put the, uh, um, the extension on this and just kind of wrap it around. I'm not even going to place it for now, but I'm going to just tie, tie this in. You want to get back as far back into your seat, and then bring the roll right above your belt line. So you're kind of leaning into it a little bit, and back. In a perfect world, we'd have some armrests here. Um, that's better. I just want you to see the orientation of the roll, but you want to scoop back. Most people scoop forward like this, and they lose that curve, okay? So you want to get back as far as you can. Um, this seat is probably about the right height. You want your, probably it's a little bit lower. I wouldn't adjust it for now, but a little lower, so your feet are in continuous contact with the chair and using that roll, okay? And you can see as you get that little curve, your head is a little better positioned. You tend not to be as far, far forward. So using this roll for, for lower back conditions and everything else, it really makes a big difference. And what you find in the lower back um, is a lot of people are working on certain problems. They don't really feel it uh, until they're sitting for a period of time. So my big rule of thumb is not to sit more than 30 minutes at a time, especially if you have back problems. If you don't, I like to, at least like to have you get up every 30 minutes and move around a little bit. Um, and that'll help you kind of change the position of your back. Um, but you can work on core and do sorts, all sorts of ab exercises, but if you don't use this roll or use something to support that alignment, it's just, it's just you're most likely going to develop lower back pain at some point in the future. So consider that. Use that roll. If you have any questions, you can always give, give us a call on here in Paramus. We can show you how to use this or refer to our videos. Okay? Um, you see the contact information on the video. Uh, be well and good luck and hopefully less pain.